Carnival Day at the Waterfall What a beautiful spring day! laughed Sprinkles as she turned a backflip over the rainbow. Just the day for... Sprinkles, you turned a perfect backflip! quacked Duck Soup. I know, that's why it's just the day for a carnival! Sprinkles laughed. Help me pick some flowers, Duck Soup, then you can take them to all our friends. The little ponies were excited when Duck Soup arrived with the flowers. Sprinkles always used flowers as invitations. Is it a party? asked Sundance. It's a carnival, replied Duck Soup. It starts at two o'clock. We must decorate our floats, laughed Posy. The carnival started with a parade. I've got some prizes for the best floats, said Duck Soup. He thought Posy's float was the prettiest and Snowflake's float the most unusual. Sundance won a prize too. Her float was the funniest. While the little ponies played water games, Sprinkles turned backflips over the rainbow. Only Sundance felt sad. I didn't mean my float to be funny. She sighed. I'm so clumsy. I can't do anything right. Majesty heard the sigh. Suddenly, Sundance saw the rainbow turn upside down. Pony feathers, the rainbow can be clumsy too, she thought. None of the other little ponies noticed the upside down rainbow. They were too busy playing. Sundance began to follow it. It was the baby ponies who first noticed the upside down rainbow. It's fallen from the sky, they cried in horror. Heavy hooves, I must have knocked it down when I turned my backflips, said Sprinkles. Whatever can we do? Duck Soup tried to lift the rainbow. Meanwhile, Sundance was still following the rainbow. It seemed to waver and wriggle in front of her. Then there was a swishing noise and someone landed in front of the little pony. Megan, laughed Sundance happily. Sprinkles came to fetch me, said Megan. I'll take you to the others, laughed Sundance. Megan was the little pony's special friend. They'd be so pleased to see her again. I can do some things right, called Sundance as they arrived at the waterfall. Majesty smiled. Yeah.